Welcome in the first episode of my new tutorial series. In this series we will create a simple puzzle block game and we will go over the process how to create this game, how to publish this game, how to add the advertisement to your game and implement so very interesting effects. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future episode I release. Okay, so let me show you exactly what we're gonna create. So when I hit the play button in the Unity. As you can hear there is some background sounds playing. We have the settings options and we have small animation which is playing. So we're gonna implement all of this. You can toggle the sounds on and off and there also is settings for the sounds effect. So we can just manipulate this one as well. Then if you press in any area of the screen you're gonna go directly to the game. Let me just mute everything. And then you have, uh, at the start, you have three random shapes, which you can grab and drop it anywhere on your board. And as you can see, while you're grabbing this shape, you have the small shadow displayed where exactly shape will be placed. This is very handy on the mobile devices as you use your finger to actually drag the shape. And as you see the mouse position, so your finger will be always below the shape. So you will never end up in the situation like you can't see where you're placing your shape. Okay, so once you place the shape, you cannot place any shape over it. If you try to do it, the shape will be go back to the start location. And the, there is also, if you try to place it outside of the grid, it's going to go to the start location. So once you place three shapes on the board, another three random shapes will be pop up. And then you need to place those shapes so you can assemble the horizontal, vertical, or the square. So you can assemble any of, of this square. So let me just show you. So I just complete one line. As you see, there was some effect play, playing. The game added 10 points to my account. And also my best score so far was 790. And this is the progress bar, will, which will increase as I adding more points. So if I, if I complete another, line. Let me just try to complete something. As you see I have a 20 points and so on. So there, there are a few thresholds. So once I reach 100 points all of the shapes, colors will change and there are about nine different colors in this game so far. And then if you hit, if you destroy more, more than one line, so for example, you place your shapes and you're destroying the square plus line, there will be some additional writing with the super awesome and so on. So let me try to force the situation. So as you see, we have a suite. And then if you remove any color from the board, Let me just first of all get the 100 points. So I have 110 points and as you see the color of the shapes changed to yellow. And then once we remove the blue color from the board, there will be additional 50 points added to the account. So when the player lose, there will be like another pop-up. Let me just actually lose now. So if you cannot place any more shapes, as you see that all of the shapes will turn gray. And then in the pop-up you, you have your score, the best score, the progress bar, and then you can try again. And also there is another thing, you can, uh, the player can actually watch the rewarded ad video, which will unlock the requesting new shapes. So the player have a three times to request new shapes. So if I press this button now, as you see the new shapes will pop up. If there is no more requests left, this button will be grayed out. So this is like additional bonus to the player for watching the rewarded ad. And I think it's working very good because sometimes you end up in the situation where you really want to keep playing because you have a high score, but it's simple, impossible. So the player can watch the rewarded ad and then keep playing. So if you are interested to in checking this project, I have released this game on the Google Play Store and then on the Amazon App Store. You can find the link in the description below this video. And also, 
I will make all of these graphics which you can see in this video available for free on my website so you can follow along with this tutorial. So I hope you will like this tutorial series. So again, if you want to help support this channel and you like this content, please consider subscribing and leave a like. And also, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below this video. So thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.